Right, what is going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video, another objectives guide. Today we're going to be looking at the Nations Dynamic Duo 5 objectives. Apologies, this is like 16 hours late. EA once again at 6pm UK time release every single day. They had these cards added on Footbin, but they didn't release them until like 8 or 9. Which being in New Zealand was like 10 in the morning for me. I only had a few hours sleep and I wanted to go back to bed. I woke up, they released them, so apologies that this video is late. We're going to go over all of these objectives, give you guys my tips and tricks. This is a pretty self-explanatory, uh, straightforward objective. Um, and before we get into it, I do want to say as well, you can double them up. So you can do all of the squad battle dynamic duo objectives at the same time. You can do this Laren objective, the nation's dynamic duo four objectives. At the same time, you do uh, these Korean ones, the nation dynamic duo four. You can also do it with these Ghanaian players as well in nation's dynamic duo. Too. So you can do three birds with one stone. For the sake of this video, we're going to focus on just this objective. But just a heads up, you can most definitely get all three of them done within eight games. So that's what? Four 85, no, six 85 rated cards for only eight games this isn't even bad if you look at it from a fodder point of view. As I said, we'll be mainly focusing on these ones for the sake of the video. Now, first of all, you've got score four goals using players with at least 80 pace in squad battles on at least semi-pro, or you can do it in division rivals. Assist four goals using a player from Canada, and you've got score 10 goals in squad battles on at least semi-pro, or once again, division rivals. And if you're just playing division rivals or just playing squad battles, you'll get these 10 goals, assuming it's on at least semi-pro. If it is squad battles, you'll just get these 10 goals naturally and you'll unlock this pretty good I'm not going to try pronounce his name but he looks like a very good card and I know he does have a secondary position of a centre mid as well you've then got assist using dynamic duo Tajon we'll just call him Tajon which is his first name right and three separate squad battle matches on at least semi pro and then you've got win eight matches with him in your starting lineup lads this is like all of the other squad battle ones incredibly easy here's how you do it now I will count this as tip number one but if you want to try and get your 10 goals in one game you want to try get as much goals in one game as possible so with squad battles as you can see you get given four different teams all you want to simply do is choose the worst rating and worst chemistry one so in this case as you can see they're all 83 to 88 rated but boom 76 rating with only eight chemistry we could easily easily beat this on semi pro so we can go ahead choose semi pro and play that and i'll be pretty confident in saying most of you guys would be able to get 10 goals in one match doing that and after that uh, after you've played that game if you do not want to play the rest of these teams you do have the option to refresh it and i will circle as you can see by pressing update opponents square on playstation or x on xbox and the only thing that this does do is it does mean that these three games will basically be lost for you okay so if you play this game and then refresh it for other remaining games in this you will not be able to get points from them because you can play up to 40 games you've got 10 refreshes as you can see nine refreshes after i uh, if i were to use this one um and that means Means if you go over the refresh limit then your squad battle points stop counting but if you do not care for your squad battles rank and you and you don't care if you go over it you don't care if you don't get elite one elite two in squad battles then what you can do is play the worst team refresh play the worst team the refresh uh you are say the refresh refreshes the refresh option like refreshes itself every 10 or 15 minutes which is quite convenient because by the time you'll finish your game you'll have the option to refresh once again now after you choose the worst team on semi pro you just want to use your main team lads this is a squad builder the quote-unquote squad builder for today is your main team because there's no team requirements there's no at least five canadian players in your starting lineup anything like that there's no requirements whatsoever you can just use your main team as you can see this is my main team here um as long as you've got players with more than 80 pace which you should anyway most of it most people do i think literally not one player in my team has less than 80 pace so that's absolutely perfect um so you can get those 80 pace goals but most importantly you want to try and get 10 goals in one match so let's say you've played that match a 15 minute match you've got those 10 goals you're going to go on over to the milestones and you will have some stuff to claim most likely the goals with the players of at least 80 pace and also you'll be able to do you'll be able to claim this I forgot his name again. What's his first name? This Tajon card. Um, so you can get this card and then what you want to do with him is simply go ahead and chuck him in your squad. So let's pretend I just went ahead and I just I just scored the 10 goals. I just completed him. I'll then go ahead, 
put him in the squad as you can see right here and obviously this will not be a concept if you guys uh, have played the game or and got all of the 10 goals and as you can see he can actually play as a center mid left mid or a right wing as well so he's got some nice alternative positions but you can just chuck him in at zero chem it would not matter because if you've got no other Canadians or Belgian league players in your squad anyway he'd be on zero chem so it does not matter if you play him off chem I'd personally just chuck him up top for your main striker so he gets in on lots of the action so now that you've completed this card Card. you've scored the 10 goals obviously for you guys he will not be a concept you'll just chuck him at striker in your main team and then from there you're going to be trying to assist goals with him which will tick off the assist with canadians assisting with him anyway will also get you these assists with him in three separate matches then you just have to win eight games with him in your squad as i said you can double it up and do the korean objectives and do the Ghana Ghanaian objectives at the exact same time as well with those players too that's incredibly easy um remember keep refreshing you can refresh every 10 to 15 minutes choose a worse team to play on semi-pro if you're not too comfortable playing the higher rated teams on semi-pro and as i said after you play a game i mean usually by the time you're finished a game you'll have the option to refresh again so play the worst team refresh play the worst team refresh that way you know you'd rather win 10-0 than you know have to sweat a little bit that's just common knowledge chuck a film on it'll take you eight games um as i said if you double up on all of them that's eight games and you'll get six 85 rated cards assuming you double up on all of them um and complete the Ghanaian and the Korean objectives as well if you've not already done them but lads this will take you what eight games 15 minutes a match assuming you do it in squad battles that is going to take you maybe an hour and a half two hours if you chuck a Netflix film on lads trust me it will go quick not too bad very simple let me know if you guys will be completing let me know if everything's working all good for you guys or if you do have any questions and I'll see you boys in the next one peace out lads